New research suggests that women may share some of the blame for their underrepresentation in science. A report published in Science Magazine says women in the U.S. are less likely to go into fields where success is thought to come from inherent talent rather than hard work. But one Colombian researcher is showing that women in science can be the perfect mix. CCTV's Michelle Begay has more. In the insect world, the banana spider is significantly larger than its male counterpart, five to six times larger. But in the science world, the ratio of women to men has long been skewed towards women. I was just at an event that recognized scientific work, and of the 21 scientists awarded, two of us were women. And I thought, what is this? There needs to be more of us. Gladys Aparicio is a Colombian scientist about to receive her doctorate in physics. In 2014, she won the World Intellectual Property Organization Award for creating an environmentally friendly and higher performing rechargeable battery by using spider silk. Batteries contain highly contaminated substances for the planet and poisonous for humans. My thesis proposal was to create something that can replace the large membrane found in batteries that can help reduce their environmental contamination. But before becoming a research professor at the University Autónoma de Occidente in Cali, Colombia, Aparicio almost didn't even go to college. One of 12 children, her father always told her higher learning was a privilege reserved for rich people. When I started to change my reality by paying for my bachelor's degree, I realized I wanted to do a master's degree. Balancing work and studies meant a lot of sleepless nights, but my motivation was my family, my brothers, sisters, and parents. Let's change our reality. Aparicio says her motivation now, as she prepares to receive her doctorate degree, is her two children and husband. They supported her while others called her crazy when she decided to focus her research on the powerful protein created by the banana spider. And after her battery gets patented, Aparicio plans to research other fields that can use this special spider silk. In the health sector with cellular regeneration, I would like to work with other doctors and other experts because in research, I believe, we can't just work by ourselves. We need allies and friends. As she begins to receive recognition, this Colombian could be added to the list of women who have changed the course of science. And while the contribution of women in the field has been important, there are still very few. According to the American Institute of Physics, in 2012, one out of five physics PhDs was awarded to women. A recent study in math and science also shows that women in the U.S. subconsciously may be inhibiting themselves as they are more likely to go into fields that they think require hard work rather than relying on their raw talent. I think humans are sometimes afraid and therefore don't share their ideas because of fear of being judged or evaluated. But no, we don't need to be afraid. We need to stop thinking that the male is the stronger gender. We are equal. And while Professor Aparicio does believe hard work, not brilliance, is what has gotten her recognition, her peers seem to think otherwise. Aparicio was chosen as one of 21 people to speak at this year's Brilliant Minds Conference in Madrid. To be able to represent Colombia is wonderful because they could have chosen anyone from any other country in the world. That's proof that there are many positive things that can come from Colombia. Both the banana spider and Gladys Aparicio are proving that in the field of science, achievements by the female gender are outstanding and they're not done yet. Michelle Begue, CCTV, Cali.